Are we live? This is going to be today. In five, four, three, two. <laughs> three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, this why they tell y'all. This why they don't let people oh smoke before shit. work. <laughs> <laughs> this why they don't let people smoke before work. Fucking when idiots. We, when do we start? Now we're live now. Hi everybody. Hi. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen. Oh, we gonna have to have a party when we get to twenty. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in to another pretty exclusive <laughs> podcast. I'm Riz. Trail. I'm Ross, and I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all to our loyal viewers who view every Wednesday, even if it's only for two seconds. <laughs> Cause I be seeing y'all come and go. I, I see y'all act like y'all don't got wow. one hour to just sit Bro, there the I'm whole time. I think it's asbestos or something. Asbestos. Asbestos. So see this is week 15. we have um two guests coming today and what's their name kenya kiva their sisters no you know we're not doing ask Marta today no <laughs> let me ask my no Marta, no she needs a cough drop but i wasn't coughing i haven't been coughing till i came in here and i before i did what i did but nobody told you to do that i don't think what I did you do, to do with you that? ashamed i think i need my ass I don't think I have nothing to do. Oh, about. I gotta get the um Wanda, look at my purse and grab the uh questions and the topics, please. Yeah, we have some good topics today. Um some people sent us some topics. It's in the back. No, it's in the it's in the uh, flat part. Y'all Can we talk so about Tory Lanez first? Tory Lanez or do you wanna talk about Meg the style? Who side y'all on? Tory. Tory. Me too. I I said that from day one. Thank yeah. you. I said, I, said I said that from day one. I said that from day one. I said she up. was lying from day one. That was fucked up. Yeah, because she lied. Yeah. Who does that? I said that from day one. You got to bite that in half. Them joints stick it to the motherfucker. Ooh. Yeah. Um, you got these. You um, got some strong. I definitely people. believe her. Me too. And I hope he win and I hope he press charges on her ass for defamation of character. Hey, yeah, but what if it's like a Illuminati thing? That would be snitching. What if it's like a Illuminati situation? That ain't gonna matter if you go there. He could still sue for some bread. I just go on back to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit. I just go on home. For real. I so will not think- deal with an American bitch. After mm-hmm. that video he made, he is not scared of Illuminati. Y'all didn't see that video? Yeah, what I video? seen that video. Uh, Where well, he was acting like he was fighting the devil in the boxing ring. And the devil oh, was no, supposed I to be Jay-Z. Y'all didn't see that? No. Oh, my gosh. But I like Tory Lanez. He's an all-around good artist. He yeah, can do like anything. Yeah. I yeah. love it. Would you date him? I wouldn't. <sighs> it's a no for me. That's bro. That's bro. Um, all that's that. bro. Yeah, because that's bro. That's bro. Mm-hmm. And then that his hair. His hair. Yeah, like the that. hair. It's the and hair his shape height. for me. And then he look like plies. He petite. He's very petite. Mm-hmm. He do Shout like, out to mm-hmm. all the petite mm-hmm. men. Mm-hmm. He's like petite. Mm-hmm. It's not for me. You think he look like plies? Yeah. I think plies and, and Kurt Franklin look like they brothers and they got different yeah. daddies. Yeah. Well, actually, Kurt Franklin looks like his wife. They look. He, I think he transforming into a woman. <laughs> <laughs> he look like his wife. You think so? Excuse me, maybe Kurt, they I been love together, you, but maybe they've been together like so long. That no, it's like you get in plastic surgery. I'm like if you pull, so he looks okay. feminine. Let me pull Kurt Franklin up. No, I, I'm not going. And you got to see Kurt Franklin. Seen him, we seen him, we seen him. No, you ain't. Because if you seen <laughs> him, y'all would know he is like getting. It looks like to me plastic surgery. To look like her. Oh, I don't know, but when when you my when it come out, you heard it here first. You think so? Yes. Like, well, I just feel like him, Plaz, and uh, Tory Lanez look alike to me. Tory Lanez and Plaz, Plaz and Kurt Franklin for sure. And Tory Lanez, pull it up. Uh-uh. They all look I alike. I got my phone. We couldn't pull up Kurt Franklin. Oh. Okay, honey. Okay. Um. Yep. What's the topic? Because um. <laughs> so the first one. Woo, a little. The first one yeah, we shaking. decided on was if you spend the night with a guy for the first time and he doesn't touch you sexually, do you feel away or no? <laughs> what are we starting now? Yours. <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> oh, shit. It depends on the situation. Um, you know... This is the first time. 
This the first time y'all staying together. Because, I mean, if y'all been staying together, he don't touch you, that don't matter. Y'all might yeah, already have sex. This the first the time. Because what if we, like, just real, real drunk and he passed out? Is he alert? Yes. He's alert. He's not passed out. Y'all went on a date. The night y'all was vibing, everything. So you thinking to yourself, like, yeah, I might get him some tonight. And then you, you spend the night and you get in the bed and he roll over, go to sleep. And I know how, you know, I look <laughs> <laughs> with or without garments, baby. So, I mean, if he don't touch me, then I'm going to tell my friends in that state, like, I don't know what the fuck was wrong with this nigga. He ain't touch me or nothing. I'm just saying, like, I'm going to feel like that because why you didn't touch me? Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Who better than me? You don't like to be touched. <laughs> he don't know that. <laughs> you do. If he tried to touch you early on that date, right? Or you done hit him with her. Before. You done hit him with her. And uh, well, yeah, uh-uh. you know that. You done gave him the run down. So now he don't want to. He's he scared. T- he should have took me home. He's scared. So why why are we going back to the crib? Take me home. What about you, Cher? <clears throat> if I come, you know what I came for. <laughs> 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 you don't touch me. I'm gonna make you <laughs> because that's what I came for. Now, I'm not staying over there if we're not doing nothing. I come here from the club. You not my nigga. You know, I we don't you go came from the club. You came well, from a date. I came from a date. That mean I had drinks. He may not have drinks. I had drinks. <laughs> and if I'm coming back to your crib, I expect something. I do. I drink today. Now, I'm not going to say you weird, but I'm going to let you know what I came for. When we get there and after a couple of hours or even in the morning, if there's, because you know I like yeah. it, I would leave. But oh, man. I'm going to touch first. Yeah. I'm a, you know, like I'm a cuddly type of touchy feely type of person. So it, I don't understand how you could just get in bed and go to sleep. Like, I don't know. But if that was the case, I definitely would be on the phone with y'all the next day. Like, this nigga might be gay. But if he, you know, okay, so. <laughs> if he, if you throwing it back on him and stuff, <laughs> what you mean? How when you but you know like, sometimes, you that, yeah. sometimes the reason why a guy may not touch you is because they so nervous and anxious that they can't get hard. But <laughs> you know, but you don't know that they not saying that. It's just that's what's going on. Mm-hmm. Too much going on. Mm-hmm. So now, if he don't touch you and you, you can tell he's hard. He got period. But why would he be he 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 like he like both? Cause why is he, he hard? might he might need a beard. But he getting hard though. I mean, so you got to be attracted to some point if you getting hard around me. He attracted so, to so a booty hole. What you, 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 you ain't going to my booty. Not either. But I'm just saying. <laughs> if he don't touch you, would you? Oh. I just said I would be on the phone with y'all. Like this nigga is gay. Oh, something yeah. something's going on. I'm, I mean, I I don't know. I just yeah. Do y'all be offended if? A guy keep trying to have sex with you, but he not getting hard. Do you be offended? Do you feel like it's you? Like, you're the problem? I would. Has that, that never happened to you? I mean, once, but then next time, I mean, what? You mean keep happening? Like, keep happening? Nah, like, I'm just saying, like. It's happened you when the person was too intoxicated. Than and then it's like, I just be like, fuck it. Holler at me in the morning. I'm going to sleep. I don't got time to sit here and play patty, patty cake with you, but this, no. Yeah. I don't feel offended. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that's not that's not on me. That's so what if he like something going on with that person? But what if he like is trying to like force it to get in there nah, and I don't it like ain't that. like I can't uh uh-uh. uh that's yeah, a play though. Uh, I don't know. Mm-mm, do not force nothing and nothing. Yeah, Mm-mm. I don't like that. Cause yeah. I would tell you stop. Okay. Me too. I'm going to sleep. Yeah. Buddy at home. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going, going home. home. And I ain't gonna call you again. Mm. So if it's trash the first time, do y'all chuck it up to he nervous or is it just like nah, I'm not doing that no more? It depends on how I feel about them. If I give them a second chance, I mean even Jordan had off night. <laughs> I mean a lot of times the first Eddie time, like bitch. I said, you be anxious. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. That just cold on. I think that's why a lot of these people pop perks. I'm gonna be the first one to say it because I was told that from it's somebody. Perk? Good sex. I thought it was lazy. Is it? I don't like that because, see, I don't want you humping up up yeah, and down no, on me for hours long, and shit. No, it don't be like for hours, but it be like rounds. I don't got time for that either, too. I get tired of you, too. Three mm-hmm. three rounds and space them out within yeah. the night. Maybe get, I need to sleep mm-hmm. after each one. So give me maybe an hour and a half yeah. and then come back. 
don't keep going. But don't just go keep going. going. Go we ain't go finna go do that. That's like, no fun. What do you think? I'm an animal? Yeah, like, like you ain't gonna pound me all night. What is this? Like, you need to stop. Right. I need a break. <laughs> this mouth be dry. You are the hammer. <laughs> I don't want to do that. That's no fun. You like that? I don't like that. Nah. No, yeah. But I'm just saying I know someone that, you know, the first time we did whatever he took perks because he was nervous and yeah it, it, it might have calmed them though it was you know what i'm saying drugs do different things for people but uh, i don't know i don't yeah. know yeah and it wasn't like pounding or like sex for a real long time but it was like multiple rounds that were like good amounts of time it was a good time mm-hmm. made me want to try perks well, so you, you know, keep going for hours and hours and hours. And I just said we didn't go for hours and hours. I said it was Sometimes that shit be too long. You start feeling numb. You don't really feel nothing. Just get off. Yeah. I don't, just, <laughs> no, I don't want I'll no perk dick. It don't feel good no more. Yeah. I don't want no perk dick. <laughs> it don't feel good. Too, I'm too it's old for that. supposed to feel like this. I'm too old. Yeah, oh, are you? Old. Give me some Jason's lyrics sex old? or something. You yeah. like young niggas. You too old. I, I'm done with them. I don't like them no more. Oh God! See, this is why. When the last time you seen your nigga in my life, bitch, I ain't gonna expose your business, but right, trust well, and believe. She ain't seen a young nigga in my life in some years now. Yeah, if y'all wanna be honest. We're what you laughing for? <laughs> <laughs> Sips tea. Mm-mm. Sips liquor. Wait, mm-hmm. Wait. Mm-hmm. you know I, don't, I know my truth. I'm tired of and my I do making too. all this noise. Oh, so what's the next thing on that list? So the next question we had for our guests. I gotta check my inbox because I don't know. I don't have. Where is it? Check my inbox. The next Ron, question we have our guests. Look, well, on, we check can, my inbox for me. But I we can ask them when they get here. We can ask our audience. Y'all let us know in the comments how y'all feel about this. First question is: If you go out with your homegirls and the outfit is off a little bit or trash completely, do you tell them or no? And men too, if you going out with your homeboy and he come outside with some bullshit on, are you gonna tell him or no? I, you know, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Like, hey, bitch, what the fuck you going? We are one. Yeah. Okay. We are one. I'm gonna say something. If your outfit not trash and I got on sneakers and you got on heels, hold on, bitch, you throwing up the like. What, what's we going had on a with conversation. This? Right. Real friends have the conversation. What you wearing? Right. Because the key is to coordinate in some way, form, or fashion. Right. That means we all got on sneakers. Right. Maybe we all wearing black. <laughs> we all wearing furs. It just, you know, yeah. it's important as a group. Yeah. Okay. It's the not flossy David posse and the temptations. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. Like, mm-hmm. Everybody. Yeah. Has to coordinate. Yeah. Everybody has to look good. Yeah. Now, for everybody can look bummy too. If somebody's not dressed up and they already outside, we'll say, "Don't get cute because yeah, I'm not that. dressed up. I right. look crazy." Right. All right, cool. Let me throw some bullshit on. Right. That's the type of day it is. Right. We always make sure we coordinate though. That's fast. That's real friendship. You bitches should try it. Yeah, cause y'all. Mm. And some of y'all are honest with y'all friends about their hair and their wigs and, and that's because they want to be they want to be the opening acts. You know what I'm saying? They want to be David Ruffin. That's tacky to me. They don't want to be the Temptations. They want to be David Ruffin. You should never want to go out looking better than your friends. Like everybody should match. What? Yeah, she does. Y'all need etiquette. Right, I'm professional. Podcast etiquette. I'm professional. You need to get them some podcast etiquette. On yeah. phone now. We got a whole assistant. I mean, I had to check my phone. You think I'm about to get her my, my personal password? Yeah, why not? She got mine. That's what an assistant for. They had your bank. They had your ATM card. They I got mean, all I trust that. her, but I'm just saying I ain't about to. Well, I don't know how I beat that ass. She's still. <laughs> See, <laughs> see you so disrespectful. My see, bad, love her. I was playing. Love her to probably take your ass down. I ain't love. I'm a little bit of. She probably take your ass down. Hi. Our guests are here. Finally, some ladies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did. Oh, pretty. Hi. Love those jeans. That's what we talking about. Some ladies first. Hey y'all! Hi, Ash. Thanks Hello. for having us. Hello. No Thank you guys for coming. Y'all slide in, cause y'all, so y'all can. And we drink. 
Tequila. Yeah. Slide on a like, group hug. <laughs> Come on, slide it down. Drink. Okay. Uh, so we were just yapping. Right, so if y'all tuning in, we do have our guests here. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. This is um, Norview's finest. Now, let me, <laughs> let me see. Norview, you know how many people was in my inbox? Oh, that's the whole thing. Norview, Norview. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, ladies, tell them who you are. Well, first of all, I'm Kenya, uh, song hospitaller, fashion designer. This here is my sister who designed. I'm Kiva. Um, most of you know me as a baller, but I do um, graphic design, uh, paint, and, and uh, custom t-shirts and apparel. Ooh, yes. Where can they find your items? We have a store. We will open up for, um, March the 5th, 547 East Little Creek, Road. Unit C, North of Virginia, 23505. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's the okay. So both of y'all gonna be in the store together, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Teamwork. Right. Yeah, I like that. The best way to be. Yeah. So how long y'all been doing what y'all do? Well, I've been um, doing graphic design. I went to college for it, and then I started playing basketball overseas. But oh. it was like put on the back burner. So now that I'm able to, I kind of uh, quit my technology job and everything else, and just went all in and did Focus. This. That's oh, right. So yeah. A leap. Yes. yes. Okay. That's Literally. that's dope. Yes. Yeah. Yep. That's that's good. Me personally, I taught myself how to sew 2017, and I just didn't let up. I went to YouTube University for that, and I just haven't stopped. I just been creating shit ever since. That's, that's dope. dope. That's, that's good. So I'm excited to see y'all store some of y'all. Um, creativity and designs in there. So definitely come and support. Really appreciate Ashley being here. Yeah, it's <laughs> dope. I went in there. Let me tell y'all. So the store is located next to Valeria, Miss Valeria Nick's mo- Slit Nick's mother's shop. Oh. Okay. So I was going in there to drop my daughter off. Mm-hmm. So then we went. Matter of fact, did I drop? I went in there for something. So then we went. And we was just walking. So she was like, "He would do shirts." So, y'all yeah, know, you got to support black businesses mm-hmm. because I always go inside of the mall and get my shirts made. But the shirts, the quality, I told my mom, I'm like, you know how we hated the fact that you could see where they, they ironed on the mm-hmm. design. Mm-hmm. The shirts, y'all, I couldn't tell what she pressed it on or whatever you did, but they were dope. Like, I really, everybody that got a shirt, they love the shirt. To the point where my stepdad was like, I'm going to order 20 more shirts from her. Mm. So I was like, that's dope. Yeah. So you did an amazing job. Like, we love shirts. Thank you. Thank you. My, well, my goal is to make make it so that our stuff looks professional. Like, as African Americans, we don't get the opportunity. Like, we go and get little rinky-dink stuff. So when you come to me, I want you to be able to leave with stuff that's going to last, stuff that look professional like you got it out of the store. Mm -hmm. I want you to, like, even with brands and stuff that's coming to me now for logos, like, everybody keep getting all these pictures of your faces and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the, like, the Apple logo or New York, New York, none of that stuff has that. So I make it so that our stuff will last yes. and it's something that you can put anywhere in any any audience I like that you know what I'm I saying? never even thought about I, that I like that yeah I like that and another thing with you like you know how most people have a store like you know we had a store but I can't sew I, I cannot sew like I have to order pieces that I think look right but it's dope when you can sew and design your own clothes when you're in there so I really like the fact that you have some nice pieces in there too I think what, did, what, did, what was your first thing you started sewing a jacket. I actually made a. You well, went straight in for a jacket. I, just, yeah, I, I called my sister with my arm in the sleeve like bitch. And I said, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, girl, I made a whole sleeve, and then after that, I made a whole trench denim jacket and took pieces from um, denim jeans from a male denim jeans and just put pockets all over. Oh, it. Wow. it was dope. I sold it in New York, walking on the street. What? What? Oh, that's crazy. You took it off? You, yeah, you had it, it off? Yeah. That's what's up. That's when you know your <laughs> shit right in. You, yeah, you go, yes, that's what you do. She's like, I can I make like that, that again. Yeah, I like that. You, <laughs> it's this guy I just ran into on TikTok. I don't know who he is, but he takes Louis Vuitton shawls and make them bubble jackets. Have you seen? 
Like, it is some talent in uh-huh. the black community. Like Dapper oh, Dawn, man. It was the, the new age Dapper Dan. Yeah. It was so dope, y'all. He was I'm literally sure. turning yeah, yeah, um, shawls into the puffer jacket. Nice jacket. Mm-hmm. Just the shawl? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just the shawl. And, and these are $25,000 coats. Yes. Yeah. And you got to, I got, I wish, I think I might have followed him, but we'll see that later. <laughs> so, you know, I, it's, I think it's all dope. Yeah. I really do. I, I do. It. I do. So we were talking about a little raunchy <laughs> things while you were saying, can we curse? <laughs> we were saying a little bit too much. So some of the topics that we were just discussing, um, we just was discussing um, if we stay with a guy and he doesn't touch me, how do you feel about that? <laughs> now, I don't know your status, but I did, you know, here you were married. So I don't know how you want to answer. You might want to skip over it. <laughs> well, <laughs> right. <laughs> but no, that's what we I, were saying. No, I answer. I feel some type okay. of way if he walk past and don't touch me or whatever yeah but he know he he sent me you he sent me um matter of fact he sent me um tiktok videos and be like is this how you feel <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i like that yep. i like that that's cute well i'm out <laughs> You out. That's what I said. <laughs> I'm not about to put in girlfriend work and you ain't giving me nothing. Uh-uh, I'm out. Okay, so, so we were saying right. like if it's your first, first time, time stay, yeah, like first y'all going y'all date. You like, can answer y'all been the way you for a while. Yes. Y'all been talking for a while. Y'all going on y'all date and then it's like y'all making a grin. It's like okay, this is gonna be my first time staying over there. And then you get over there and nothing happened. <laughs> he don't touch you at all. I mean, I'm gonna feel like okay. This this time maybe he trying to respect me and all this stuff. So the second time or the third time, <laughs> is that? Yeah, so we gotta, gotta go. go. Uh, yeah. yeah, but you don't owe me nothing. Yeah. However, I may Martin. just need to remove myself. Yeah. yeah. See, I was going to, um, <laughs> see, I, 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 no, I, no, I said, you know, by the morning time, if I decide to stay, if I decide to stay, by the morning, you still ain't touch me. I'm going to touch you. And, and, and then if you act weird after that, we're going to have a conversation, like you said. Now, what's going on? Do I not need to come over here no more? Because I won't. <laughs> you know? A lot of guys are not verbal. So they're, they're not even going to express to you why, when, where, when, what. Yeah. They're not. They That's just gonna leave that shit in the air. I'm glad I'm out of that, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was the next? So then we were we had moved on to the topic of like when you go out with your friends and their outfit is like not up to par. <laughs> do you tell them or not? First Can you address it? I'm styling everybody before they dock the dough. Cause you know, <laughs> I'm not with me looking like she yeah. your friends and sisters don't. She'll yeah. even if this like your favorite shirt, you go uh-huh. to her. She will cut the Take shirt up. up. She'll cut it, take a sleeve off, flip yeah. it. That was that was That's true me. when we was That's younger. Me. I was like, go out, true. We all buy new shirts. True, yeah. be cutting, cut, 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 and put it on. I got to see how it look. Cut, 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 cut. See, that's, that's funny. I don't care if you can't get out of it at night. We're going to cut it off later. Yeah. Don't even yeah, worry about it. Let me tell you something. Whenever we go out, y'all, they always, they want to, Ross be wearing heels tonight. I'm like, Mm-mm. Oh, yeah, we don't do heels too much no more. Yeah, but. We really don't. But at certain, at certain, like certain events requires heels. Yeah. Like, and I'm a stri- and I'm a stripper heel girl. Me too. I don't wear oh. uh shoes that's gonna hurt. Mm-hmm. I wear stripper heels, they comfortable. So we do sneakers so much. If it's a heel night, it's a heel night. And she just gotta deal with it. I just hate it because by the end of the night I'm walking like Marlon Wayne's and white chicks. Like, I'm just, <laughs> but it's I'm called like, coordination. Like, we was talking about coordination yeah. earlier. You like do you like for y'all to coordinate? Because I like for I us do. to coordinate. I like for us to coordinate. However, Kiva is hard to put her and Tracy. So I allow them to be comfortable. If I pick out something they're comfortable in, then I'll go off of them. Yeah, for, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. It's easier for me yep, to try yeah. to force them into yeah. So, yeah. that. I'm not the one at See, all. Yeah, I can put pieces together. I just, I hate the heels. I think we evolved more to her. Yeah, style we did. We used to wear yeah, heels we used to all wear the time. Like, you heels, couldn't heels. catch us and without we heels. we evolved more to her because it was easy. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so I, I understand up. that. <laughs> right. See, that's what I'm saying. So have you ever made, like, one of your friends, like, change their whole outfit when y'all was going out? Yep. Twice. Yes. A lot of times. Do we do yeah. that? 
do over. We don't and have they, to do they it. They even yeah. come out there and ask for approval. They be like, "Well, can I wear this?" Can you? And she be like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, just go change, just change the shirt or something." It be the colors for me in the wrong seasons. Yeah, yeah. So you go off of colors and I seasons. I go off of mm-hmm. schemes. Period. Any scheme that is not what it is, that I'm gonna tell you the backspace delete. Mm, see, for um, me, uh, for years I've been black, black, black. Yeah, that's I'm, all she wears. Oh my god. I'm trying Where's to get into Adams? colors. I'm, I'm, but now it's just brown, brown, brown. <laughs> it went from black, black, black. black. <laughs> now it's brown, brown, brown. That melanin, like, that's the good. Stay I just, that yeah, I just love earth tone mm-hmm. colors. Like I do an army green here, but for me to throw some bright pink on my she skin tone, be, yeah, like I, I bright pink or some yellow, mm. that don't look good on my skin. The now only I can do can orange red. and this. I can do red, red, I, but. Not in the winter. Well, I can do red in the winter. But I don't really pair in the winter. In the summer, I can pull off orange. In the winter, I can't pull off any colors but brown and black. I just can't do it. And on the green. Yeah, because I'm too pale. Well, at the songhouse, what I do personalize in, I do, I check undertones and I allow you and I help you find your own aesthetic. So if you want to step out and do different things, all you do is get a consultation. I literally look at you, we talk about your likes and dislikes, and then we come up and conform your whole aesthetic, a whole different aesthetic. To to like me opening up to more colors? Yep. Not even opening up to more colors. Even if you want to do a pattern. Like yeah. Because I, I feel like when I go out, I look the same. Right. Because right, right. Um, it's like my style. Like I look the same because it's my style. So, like, I just be like, I don't even be in the post of pictures because I'm impatient. <laughs> but it's the same to me when I look at yeah. it. I don't know what other people see, but it's like the same style. Yeah. But I don't know. I think we could try that. Yeah. We're going to talk about that. <laughs> We can try. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna waste your time. That's a, with no, 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 the words I'm gonna say. Please don't waste your time. time. It, 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 it's knowledge for me. It's gonna say I'm not saying that I might. I'm gonna go completely right. with it. But the fact that I tried it and it was like no or yay. I, just, I can give it a try. Let me tell you how this going to go. She's going to say, I'm going to just pay you because this is not yep. new. Now, now, now. I'm going to just pay you when I'm losing. That's going to be I'm going to take these pieces. I might wear them eventually. I'm not going to say she, when, but I might wear them eventually. And she's going to pay you and she's going to take the pieces and you ain't going to see them again. And her clothes. Like, her mama going to have more. Can one of y'all this? Uh-huh. one of y'all want Well, this? I'm trying to see what skin tone I want her to do. I, don't, I wonder if I want her to do my summer one because I can, I can go with a lot of things in the summer because I get a little tan. When the uh, winter, I might need more help with the winter mm-hmm. because we <laughs> don't even plan on this podcast. I, no, right. like I'm I serious. Don't understand. I'm next serious. topic. Next topic. Black and brown. <laughs> Black and brown. <laughs> and a little bit of red. So the next topic was with social media being so trendy. You know how on social media they have like all of the. Knockoffs that you can't really tell that are knockoffs. Is that acceptable or is it not acceptable? Me first. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that people can just do whatever they want to do because mm-hmm. I feel like you should be expressive, regardless of if it's fake or not. You were able to get it to wherever you got it to, mm-hmm. and if it passes, it passes. If it don't, it don't. Mm-hmm. But I think be expressive and wear what you want to wear. Everybody now, is, like, they're starting their own brands and their mm-hmm. own things. So mm-hmm. even if they have on these little cheap T-shirts, if they sweet, they sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put, put, put the microphone in between y'all. Look, this is, I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> they the sour patch like, this is not, the sour. It's not for you child Don't do it And then my thing is this too You can create your own style mm-hmm. You do not have to always purchase branding mm-hmm. And big brands You can create your own aesthetic And be your own self without looking like a bunch of stuff Because yeah. you can wear this stuff And not look like nothing right. Right. So yep. that's my take on it yep. So you can buy the fakest thing or the realest thing mm-hmm. And still look the same Yeah that's all. Yeah. What you think, Ross? <laughs> um, I just, you know, I mean, to each his own. I don't do it, but if you want to do it, right. I mean, you could do it, but I, I don't do it. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I just, <laughs> I mean, I like, what's fake brand uh, shirts all the time? I mean, I'm just saying, <laughs> like, if you better shut up. Right, it's no, she <laughs> made. Like, some people probably do. Yes. I mean, if you got to fake it till you make it, I guess. Really? What do you I, think? Well, I mean, Reese, what do you I think? Thank God it. all my stuff is fake. I mean, real. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God all my stuff is real. Thanks. I feel like if I 
can't afford it, I'm not gonna knock it off. Right. I'm gonna just wear something that's in my lane. Right. Yeah. I like nice yes. things. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> However, I ain't gonna blow no bags off. I ain't really hating on people who knock their bags off because they act like they don't want us to purchase them anyway. So knock their shit off. You know these <laughs> yeah, designers yeah, yeah. 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 If, they, so if you want to knock it off, so knock true. it off. Do your thing. Yeah. I have recently started supporting my nail tech. Uh, he be buying all the stuff from New York. <laughs> <laughs> he had all the fake Gucci socks. I I do buy those every time I go in. I get like two pair. They're so cute and comfortable. And he only charged me five dollars. Oh, yeah. so yeah, I do do I do do those. But no, all of my stuff. Wait, let me be clear. It's not, the, it's not the glittery ones. Me and Ross don't have those. Those. Oh uh, no, no, okay, yeah, those. and I and I just wear my stuff all the time. Let me tell you, but the socks like. If, even if you get the real ones, like it's worth the money because yeah. you would wear them over and over. Yeah, I love yeah. my uh, yeah, so. knockoff socks and I support him because he supports me. <laughs> so let me tell y'all this. So, what can I answer the question first? Talk. Oh, go ahead. Go I, ahead. I want to tell y'all. So, go ahead. The strings was coming out before. <laughs> like, and I know my real ones better. I didn't have any. They only five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Yeah, it's okay. You just put them on, put your easy slides on. But I don't want my toe to pop out before I get <laughs> If to they pop work. out, they only $5. <laughs> I, I enjoy them. I, I I'm going to get some when I go to the party. So for me, I personally don't like to, like, if I think anything is fake, it's like, why would you do that? Like, you, if I like to mix my pieces, and the pieces I mix, they are real, and you might catch me in a Fashion Nova outfit with a real bag. That's how I like yeah, to dress. I love bags. <clears throat> but I feel like the only thing for me is if you're going to knock off the bags or whatever, please make sure that your shoes and stuff match. Like I hate <laughs> to see people that you could tell it's fake because Well nowadays they have the real knockoff the YouTubers buy. But what I'm saying is like if I see you and I see you have on like um very cheap heels, yeah. then I know your bag your is bag. not real. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's see, what I'm me, saying. I like bags. And I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest, I never bought any of my designer. And my favorite designer is Bottega and I got a nice bag. I have nice things. I never bought them. I, I won't buy it. It's, it's out of my league. But I got it and I enjoy it. But like my that. thing is bags. I don't really care for the shoes. I can do a cheap fashion over outfit or any cheap olive oil, Olay, Shein, whatever. 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 I can do those stores and have me a nice bag. Mm -hmm. And even a, a, a stripper heel. They $55, $60. Mm -hmm. Shit, $125. 30 on most. Amazon. Yeah. So, yeah. But I think the bag is the uh, most important thing. So when I see a fake knockoff and I know it's a fake yeah. knockoff, you fail. Yeah. See, like, I, I do and the t shirts. I would do, like, not knockoff. I do real t shirts. But, yeah, like, you, I buy. You shop like a man, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I, I do. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I buy she the shoes. Like, the a like, I won't the really buy the bag. The jeans. But, mm -hmm. yeah. This like, bitch had a pair of jeans out of the nigga department designer. <laughs> they were probably like $1,000. Speaking like, of niggas, what about niggas wearing fake designer? Mm. I don't like <laughs> it. Hold on, let me say this. Run on my phone doing something. So, my, my friend that lives in Atlanta, mm -hmm. she was like, a lot of the celebrities, you know, they buy knockoff stuff. Mm -hmm. She said, because nobody questions what they have on right. because... They got so much money, and yeah. So yeah. why would I go pay all of this when they not even gonna question what I got on? Like, and they buy fake it's stuff. A lot so. of people. Shout out Ultra Cinco. He said it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm he saying did. like she said that, but I think. I just don't have money like that, so you gonna be looking at me, mm -hmm. so I'm not gonna do it. But a lot of people around here wear knock up knockoffs because the clothes, the designer clothes alone, is so much money. You not telling me you got a whole Gucci Versace outfit every day of the week. <laughs> yeah, something is knocked off. And yeah, re something. research what you stuff, research what you buying yeah. too, because. Yep. If I don't <laughs> see it on their site, yeah, I yeah. shouldn't have yeah, it. Yeah, and that's, that's all you got to do is so go to the site. You, you, when people come to you and ask you, because, you know, you still make them a Gucci stuff. shirt. Yes. So no, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. No, no if, if they no, say no, make them no, Gucci no, shirt. Plan. So how do you look at them like, do you just say, okay? When, no. How do you keep it together? Only just look. They send me these people T-shirts, y'all, and I'll be like, you sure you want this one? Can I change it a little bit? And they be like, no, I need this to match my shoes. And I say, all right. You should right. charge more for that yes. because that's designer. Yeah. You right. But do they, they come to you and do that? What? When I say my printer prints like 
what she got on right now. You can. It's inside of the shirt. So when they come to me and they want that shirt, I'm going to make that shirt. You know what's crazy? The lady on TikTok. I keep going to TikTok because I'm a fan. <laughs> she said Rashida sold her a dress for $200 and told her that it was the only dress. Child, these people. It was a one and only. Mm. She said she'd go to the hair store. <laughs> And it's on a mannequin. <laughs> Not the hair store. And she was like, she paid two hundred dollars for it. Yeah, I remember we, we went to her we store. We went to her store. She was everything was. She was crazy. buying the same things we was buying for our stores, but putting two hundred, yeah. one fifty, yeah. seventy oh, wow. seventy five dollar. Yeah. That's how she That's getting money on people. I heard that but I don't. I feel like that. Like you ripping off your you people. Are. You are. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Like I would support my local people before okay. I go and support yeah. her. Yeah, you, gotta come you know what I'm saying? Yeah. House. I, I yeah. was yeah. like, wow. And I and when I seen the TikTok, I thought about when we was in the store and all that shit. She kept trying to push to us, and we was like, hell no. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, she won't even fuck shit. with us until she seen that we had labels. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then she come mm-hmm. running over there, not to talk bad about you. And we ain't about nothing. Yeah, mm. but you can't do that to your people. You see what I'm saying? I treat everybody the same. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, Especially yeah, if you're yeah, willing yeah, to bro. give them the Gucci. They want that Gucci. <laughs> I'm going to make that Gucci look. Right. Like, oh, well, better don't. deal. But if they check your tag, it's right. like they're gilding up. See, what what, what Biggie say? <laughs> what Biggie <laughs> say? You want to see the inside? I'll see, see you later. later. <laughs> he won't play about that. What's the next one? The next question uh. was... You know, it's acceptable for women to go thrift and make outfits and, you know, that make you unique. Is it acceptable for a man to do it? I, I think so. Yeah, me too. I, I say so. yes. If he know what he doing. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Right. If, if he, he know, know what, what he, he doing. doing. Indubitably. Yes. <laughs> I know <laughs> nothing about that. Yes. You don't like it? At all. You don't like it? I don't really know if they do or they don't. If they look cute, they look cute. If they <laughs> yeah. don't, they don't. So what if he say you like She don't know. I thrift. Like your I went to yeah, the store yesterday. I put it right on like, are you If it look good, I'm going to be like, like, yeah. Now good. what if he want to overly go Like oh they got three set jeans <laughs> Five set yeah. jeans today. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. That's what I mean yeah. so right. like some three set jeans and I'm like, No but what if he like Thing no down to the point where he telling you Like babe we gotta get up They wiz wiz they yeah, half off yeah. You know what I'm saying How you feel yeah. about yeah. that yeah. It's going too far <laughs> That's you got no, no, no. and you got to mix it up. Your whole wardrobe can't be thrifty. <laughs> nah, you got to have some all. some yeah. real pieces you gotta in there. Yeah. 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 Then I just provide some clothes so he can have his thrifting, and then I have some clothes. Clothes like, You know, I, I ain't providing them. Right. You gonna provide them? I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go I with you. My clothes. And help you. It's okay. Yeah. That is okay. Yeah, that's your that's husband. Okay. Yes, that's, that's your okay. I'm gonna just be honest. I don't want my man to drop a bag S C H K D C. I'm just saying. No. Another, another thing, I seen a girl on TikTok, right? And she had went viral because her husband, her boyfriend was like, I'm going to take you shopping. And apparently he has a nice piece of money. She went to um, Rainbow. Oh, wow. And he bought her everything. But she said... He asked her, mm-hmm. what store do you want to go to? She said, I'm not like everybody else. I know how to dress so I can go in here and get, yeah, every, get much more still... Look nice. Mm-hmm. How do y'all feel about that? Would y'all have done the same thing? Take me to the fashion. What I have, you know, damn well I wouldn't have done <laughs> so, the same thing. Okay, hell no. Nah. Go Anything around. I can buy myself, nigga, we not going in that store. <laughs> no, we not. We might even not even making a Nordstrom. So okay, no, so lo, all right, so, so so let's not put that in our point of view. Let's put that in her shoes. Let's say you were her, and e and that's the type of girl you are. You know that's what you wear. But are you going to say, all right, since my man? Take me and he got the money. I can go. I'm gonna go a little upscale or I'm gonna stay where I'm at. Put yourself if in that's her the shoes. type of girl you are, then that's what you're gonna do. But like, some girls will that I that's I stay in my lane, but right. I have a boyfriend who has a little more now. Maybe and so if he offers me, I know if it was me, I would have said, I'm gonna go a little upscale. Let me get the things that I couldn't afford, mm-hmm. you know, right. because he's taking me. So that's why I said, let's put ourselves in her shoes. And for me, I would have to go a little more up. That's why I said, we might not make it an Yeah, yeah, that's go to Nordstrom's. We're not gonna, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Go to, I would go to Nordstrom's or something. I probably would be too intimidated for Gucci. I wouldn't know what to pick out, my shoe like size, it. but I would go up to, to Nordstrom's or something. fabric in New York. And I'm I'm gonna go get all the good fabric and I'm gonna make, make all everything the good that fabric. you desire. Exactly. Take me what to about you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She loves jewelry. What about you? 
Take me to the Nike store. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Some kicks. Yeah, I think I would go up. I think I wouldn't go too high. Like, I wouldn't be like, let's go here, here. But I think I would go to, like, a Nordstrom because... It was levels to it for yeah. me when I started at the bottom. I, it was levels to it. Yeah. I didn't just go from here and then started shooting up there. Yeah, See what I'm and saying? you don't want somebody to feel like you're using them. Right? Yeah, they using them. And I think that's where she was like coming this. from. Yeah. I think she was really caring about her pocket, his mm-hmm, pockets, mm-hmm. as somebody she loved. Mm-hmm. I think she was looking at appreciating the fact that he offered that, mm-hmm. and I think she was like in her head. I didn't have these things before Why I try to do it now So just let me But for me yeah I'm going to take it a notch up But I did see that (laughs) So let me ask y'all like, What would y'all tell someone that wants to Jump out on faith like y'all did um, I talk about it on my Facebook a lot. Like, I'm a ba- uh, very big with manifestation and positive thoughts and stuff. Like, I've been working, I guess, since I stopped playing basketball in 2012. And after that, it was just like, I hated my job. Mm-hmm. I made good money. And we, like, me and my husband, we did good. But I had to talk to him first because it's like mm-hmm. a team thing. Mm-hmm. But I really, really, like, just didn't want to work my job. And I was like, I feel like if I continue to, you know, do what I'm doing, I feel like I eventually it'll get to where I want it to be. Yeah. So I feel like if it's your passion and it's something you really, really want to do, then go for it. Because it's no, like, if you get old and you've been doing the same job, when you're 54, you can't just leave and jump out on faith. Mm-hmm. But if you feel it in your heart and you want to do it, just like this podcast, like, I don't know, like, what made y'all want to do it, but... Y'all wanted to do it, so y'all just like, yeah. come on, man, let's just do it. Do it, yeah. And that's what you gotta do in life because you don't get it, you don't get no time back. Yeah. You don't wanna have no regrets. Right. Right. That's so a fact. Just try it one time and say, oh, I tried it, but it right. ain't Right. And life's so that's short, right. now you right. gotta yeah. do it. Right. What about you? Same. 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 I just personally, I'm a rebellious person, so. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm good and my family's good at the end of the day. And all my thing was building a foundation for children that I don't have and my sister's kids, you know. And I don't want to work, want them to have to feel like to work for someone is to get ahead. It's okay to be self-sufficient. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that was it. Now, you used to sing. I still sing. I oh, still you still sing. sing. The okay. hits, the song house. The song house really is about a motion picture and a soundtrack. So, it's me to create a motion picture, then the soundtrack behind it. So, my clothing is really like the movie. And once I really get it together, I'm going to have still commercials with my everything sound behind it. So, it's going to come to play. Everything going to come to fruition. That's good. That's dope. That's, That's dope. dope. That's really nice. That's right up. Who do you say? What? What do you say? About you stepping out on faith? Yeah. What? That was for the guests. We ask the guests there every week. When you ask me, I say, just do it. Mm-hmm. You know, if we got to answer that question, then I, mean, I need to take other people's advice. I'd mean, be scared. Don't you know, I always, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, I say, I jump out on faith. Like, I don't care. Like, I done moved out of state, came yeah. back. Like, I really don't care. Like, just do it. If it works, it works. Yeah, if yeah. it don't, it don't. You can always come back home. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, I jump out on faith if I know I got a good cushion, though. Like, mm. I'm not the type of person that I know I'm going to need this paycheck, but I really gonna, I'm going to try my best to do both. Like, I'm that's not the I type of person that's yeah. going to just jump out. Like, yeah, I know God first. got me because these bills ain't going to pay itself. Right. Like, so exactly. I never give people the advice of just, just go for it because life is real. I would say and you don't, could just don't go leave. For it. Don't leave everything you have. Like, I waited. I started my business in 2019. I worked out of my garage. So I was up. Like, I go to work at... About, I had to be there at 6 I was later every day mm-hmm. But I went at 6 And I get off at like 3 I ain't go to sleep until like 2, 3 in the morning Because mm-hmm. I had orders and stuff right. And I wanted to make sure people's stuff was on time But right. I did this from 2019 Until recently uh, January My sister and brother was like You gotta do it just go ahead. So I was That's like, right. All right. And it feels right. good. Mm-hmm. So you it, had, it feel it amazing. Feel right. You do what it do feel it does. good. It feels but real good. I took my time too. Right. Yeah. Because I do have a family to support. Yes. Right. I don't want my love to feel like you yeah. got everything. Right. So Cause that's to more stress. But it's okay for your 
nine to five to pay for the six to twelve. Like it's okay for that. You I ain't just jump out here and say, Okay, I'm about to make this dress for five thousand dollars and no, I was making prom dresses for cheap just Mm -hmm. to get my brand. You gotta build it, it's levels. So yeah. Yeah, it's definitely levels and I think even though it's when you jump out on a leap of faith, it doesn't always have to be impulsive. True. You yeah. can yes. properly plan your leap of faith yes. Yeah, right. yes. before exactly. you take yes. that that's leap. Well and said. that's the important thing yeah. I was to do. Jukeboxes. Yeah, right. <laughs> and so the important thing to do is to properly plan your leap of faith. Yeah, yeah. true. And yes. not just take that leap exactly. with no plan. Yes. Now, do y'all think it's harder being women in the, I guess, in the business? The men like is it harder for y'all no. too? I don't think so. I think it's a different. It's a different dynamic. It's like definitely uh, the, a different the, dynamic. the males are taken more serious than we are. Mm-hmm. And like you can like a guy can say, oh, I'm charging fifty dollars for my shirts, right? And this is brand. And I say, well, I'm gonna charge fifty for my brand and my shirts. And they like. I ain't better mm-hmm. take them things down. Mm-hmm. Try to think but they can, then, yeah. eventually, we grow to that fifty dollars because our quality was better yes, than theirs, right. mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be. But it's been so many um, like uh, interactions with my with my stuff where people like, "What is that much?" And when you go to a guy, he say that price is not That's that. Not no it. question. Right. Like, oh, yeah. all right, all right, bro. I'm not gonna get him that energy because yeah. you don't think you can whoop his ass, but you think you can whoop <laughs> my ass. <laughs> Give me talk my shit. You ain't gonna I'm gonna be. You gotta be stern, right? Yeah, you gotta be stern. One thing about having a business is you have to be stern. Yeah, definitely. Don't you can't play with people. You can call me mean. Mm-hmm. No, nah, you really? can't say I'm mean. Just say I don't play by my business. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Say that. True, because yeah, they will try you. All, yeah, all the time. Yeah. they will try you. Be like stern. One of the biggest, the biggest things I had somebody that was like, I did a whole website for them, and they were like, all right, um, go ahead and put it up for me, and I'm about to send you the money. I say, okay, go ahead and send the money. They send it, and they were like, they were like, um, I can't send the rest until Friday. I can't send the money Someone's till Friday. I said, well, I'll put your website up Friday. Right. And then they started bashing me on Facebook, Instagram, oh, all, all wow. that stuff. Wow. I was like, but they ain't paid yet. You going to get that. With a business, you're going to definitely yeah. have Absolutely. somebody yeah. that have something, very much something to talk about yeah. every time, all the time. Because I was going to say, I think women experience that yeah. in the workforce, mm-hmm. period. Yeah. Like, Because yeah. I know... Like, we run a mental health company, and it's like, when people encounter me, it's like, oh, she's a bitch, she did, she did, and it's like, no, I'm about my business. I'm not here to be your friend. They're so scared to talk to her. I'm not doing none of that, but if I was a guy, it wouldn't be Mm -hmm. any of that. Like, it would just be like, oh, she know what she doing. I mean, he know what he doing. Mm -hmm. But because I'm a female, Mm -hmm. it's like, you expect for me to beat around the bush with certain shit, and I don't do that. Exactly, yeah. and you should, Andrew. You should, right? They do, cause I'm telling you at work, I always say they don't respect me in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's time for them to respect me. I'm no, but for real, I had got this shit from Beyonce on one of her documentaries a yeah. long time ago. She was in the studio and she was saying, like, she has to be a certain way mm-hmm. in order it, for people it, not it, to play with it you. Take yeah. you out of your yeah, yeah. You have to be in different. order for people not to play with you. Yep. Is this? Uh, entrepreneur industry is nothing for weak people. Uh, you I never mean, gonna see your profits. You never gonna see ever. nothing. Nothing. Mm-mm. You just gotta be straight to the people. People just play anyway. What? People Last play. Last Wednesday. <laughs> people play. When we went out. Um, it, it's the men. Mm-hmm. Oh God. Oh God. Like, it's guys and mm. their ego and mm. they wanna try females. Let me tell you. Last That's because they women. They, they women. Anyway. That's they women. Right. Yeah, I mean, we they got too much. Right they there. feminine they anyway. Too many hormones. I say not enough testosterone. Yeah, I can say that. Should have spent more time with your daddy. Like, yeah. I don't they know what it is. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. sucking mm-hmm. on their mama titty and their thumb at the same time. Mm. I don't got time. Yeah. But that's yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's exactly how I feel. Child, Strongly. Child, child. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my, my friend wanted some pineapple oh, juice. Oh, the God. guy was behind <laughs> me, right? <laughs> we had already spoke to everybody in the section. <laughs> So she was like, can I ask him, can I have some pineapple I juice? So I say, <laughs> well, can she have some pineapple juice? The one who ain't paying for nothing. The one who ain't paying for nothing. It was in a free promoter section. Open his mouth to say, you can't have nothing over here. Bitch, 
I could buy a whole bottle of pineapple juice. That shit is what, five dollars? <laughs> and because him, I went to the bar and spent extra money on pineapple that, juice. But that's what happened. That's what, what I'm saying. That's exactly what happened. It then so, she um, tell me he called us poor. <laughs> Come to find out, he poor. <laughs> Let me Why tell you, you this, so, this thing that got me though, because he was in a section with like niggas, like you know, a lot of us have been outside for a long time. You know, we I consider us older. Y'all too, y'all older, cause mm-hmm. y'all, mm-hmm. you know. So I'm up there. You know, we Aunties. respect each other. I'm not <laughs> no, I'm not my nieces at all. No sir, no <laughs> ma'am. Not. We respect no. each other, but he was with the niggas that know us, and I'm like, damn. So I'm looking at them like. One of the niggas in the section, you owe me money. Mm. Mm. You don't know ain't nobody over here poor, and you just letting him go along with That's it. That's what I was getting ready to say, too. It's another thing, because it's like, it's like all of the men are just like chickens. Like, mm. nobody mm. check nobody. They nobody no like, yo, bro, chill. It's nothing. Everybody they just like. It's a team of bitches every yeah, time. Yeah, like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but let me ask y'all this. <laughs> what she about I ask y'all in my, my in, in the most humblest way. Oh, if y'all motherfuckers ain't aunties, what the fuck are y'all? I just what said, the fuck is y'all? I just said, what are y'all? y'all? Big cousin. Big cousin. What? What, what, are you, what are you? 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 I'm fresh. I'm fresh fish. Fresh fish. What you? What you? I'm, I'm still a young one out here. I'm fresh. No, no. Young bull. What you? What you? Young bull out here. What are you? I say I'm a. Mama, what you? I'm a cub. Yeah, already. Baby, I'm a PYT over okay. here. Okay. I'm a cub. I'm not even like I'm not messing with you. Yeah, I feel like I ain't even thirty yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, auntie is like, like Mary J. Blige said, she don't want to be called auntie. She don't fuck with them <laughs> industry bitches. She don't want to be. Called I don't, auntie. I don't, I don't auntie. I'm not taking nobody under my wing. No, I'm not teaching no, nobody. I ain't taking nobody. I'm not doing none of that. So I'm not your auntie. I'm, not your I'm auntie. just not your auntie. I'm just your now what about like little bit cousin? I ain't that either. I'm just. <laughs> I can be auntie. I'm hey Miss Parker. That's me. Hey Miss Parker. That's me. What about I hate like, that. You know I hate that. If like somebody wants you to take them under their wing, like. They want to come on. They want to do a podcast. Uh, uh, or they um, intern. People, or they wanna, people be in my inbox all the time, but they don't never ask me like to help them learn how to stuff. Like they want, stuff. they always just want my equipment. Yeah. Yeah. they want you to skip how much was that? Yeah, they don't want to do yeah. no. They don't want to do no work for yeah. free. The whole and thing. then, the, and next no. thing you know, they opened up their and store and next door. They and they copy and yeah. everything. Everything yeah. you do. This is, just how I, this yes. is my personal opinion, though, man. Like I feel like. It's enough money out here for everybody. So mm-hmm. when people do ask me questions, I just tell them straight whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like I, my talent is different. Mm-hmm. I do what I do, and you got to do what you got to do. You may not, I'll give you the machine name, but you got to figure out how to work the machine. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I feel like you ain't put the work in to learn what the machine was, so right. you definitely ain't going to put the work in and learn how to make, you know, mm-hmm. make stuff right. on the machine. Right. So I, I be telling them. Cause like with the business we run, like when I see people I know, particularly females that I know, I always tell them like, or they always ask me like, what y'all do? I'm trying to get on da da da, and I tell them exactly what to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But we've had so many experiences where they get on. And then they just want the paycheck. They don't want to do no work. Mm-hmm. They feel like because you put them on, y'all cool, so they don't have to do nothing. And mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. this yeah. is still business. Like, Tell them the ropes and let them figure it out. Like, I, I, I don't like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, it's, it, it really has, like, turned me off from trying to help people. Because, yeah, like, that does I happen. used to be, like, all about just putting everybody I know on to get money. And yeah. it's like... People don't. They don't value it at all. Yeah. They don't value it at all. But I think you won't value it until you learn how to figure it out yourself. That's and that's it. why that's I it. stop helping that's people. It. Yeah, you don't know people's intentions, no. especially if you like being females. A lot of females don't want to see other females yeah. progress. Yeah. So, like I think you know, I thought it was dope. I was like, look, y'all need to come on the podcast. And I really appreciate. I was it. like, cause y'all don't y'all have something coming up? Yes. Oh. Cause y'all didn't talk about that. Cause that was the main reason we discussed. Look. But our opening, we it's on it's March fifth. Okay, talk about it. Let's Soft talk about opening it. Opening for the Songhouse Sisters uh, who design were key design. Uh, we're doing a soft opening. We have I have a um, a nice line summer spring halfway line coming out. Um, looking forward to doing a great runway show during in June. So you guys can come out. I would we love will. for you guys to come out. We definitely and everybody else too. We definitely come but deep. support. But, um, I need to walk. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, have mercy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
get I can so wanna, many okay, dope outfits and stuff and people coming in and I like I don't know like I'm like a personable person and my sister and like me and my brother both just out here like everybody just smiling blah, blah, blah. but my sister er, I don't know why but she'll make stuff wear stuff and everybody be like blah, blah, blah. and then they put it on mm-hmm. and talk yeah. about but it's okay, because what's for me going to be for me, and I feel like I'm here for a reason. Even if it's to put somebody else's style on, even if it's whatever it is, I am just loving the talent and the gift that I have been bestowed been bestowed like I am okay with everything that I got going on regardless of what you know and what you see you're gonna see song house couture you're gonna see key designs you're gonna come to the store hopefully pull up and get a whole new yeah. recreation of yourself and an understanding of us period That's creatively good. and just personally we yeah, might need to be on the side pictures. of the runway with the mics talking you know we might what that shirt say though yeah cause that's just period okay yeah. boy fuck you <laughs> every day <laughs> every day all day. period you have well, I, I don't have time for no nigga <laughs> no. <laughs> not now one word. That's just not that one. So okay, so even the one y'all see. I know I want the wall. I can't <laughs> I know, wait. That's right. I can't <laughs> wait to see what my girlfriend so to put petty. me up. You are so petty. Well, I can't wait. So when is it again? <laughs> March fifth. And that's the same day as the runway. Everything taking place that no, day. No, the runway okay. will be in June. June. However, March fifth, I will have all of that. I will speak know all the about details. Yes, okay, yes, got yes, you. Well, got let you. me know because you know I got an old nest. I want you. <laughs> I want y'all to commentate. I want y'all to be the. Uh, we will on the mic. Let yeah. them they play too much. Let them oh, okay. I, 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 <laughs> take, I take my career seriously. <laughs> No, what? I mean, we I'm gonna walk like the black, yeah. like Nail yeah. and Campbell, baby. If we can shoot that day, we definitely doing it. We're gonna shoot. Yeah. Fur. Yeah. Let us, gonna I think it. that'd be so dope. Fur. What's my oh, serious that'd face? Fur. So my serious face? But I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> let me tell you, I might say, okay, I like the pieces, but she ain't walking right. <laughs> and that's what I like. It. Put somebody else in it. Yeah. Cause I'm uh 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 Ross is too ghetto so for that walk. So can we can we can we be there at the practice <laughs> yes, so we can see what's going on? I want y'all to be at the choosing of the one. Oh, oh yes! Yes! Oh, yes! 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 Seriously, yes! We're gonna do a yes. panel. Yes. We're gonna do a yes. panel. Yes. Like we said, just like this. Yes. And we can chop. We can chop and get beat. Yes. Ten chop. I'm gonna audition. It's gonna be even more than that. This this is I need to, we need to shoot that because we need to do behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, that's the day we need our vloggers. Seriously. Do, 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 do. And, and, and what I'll have to put out for spring and I'm gonna do a little fall, maybe like two winter pieces, but my it's gonna be runway. Fashion, runway. If yeah, if nobody I I had two fashion shows and they were all legit. Both of them yes, were legit. However, this one is gonna be so big because I've grown, I've learned. I have so much more to show. You hear so, that? Yeah. I do kids. Show, yes, I do kids. I do I mean, kids. I, 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 I do oh, doggies. We got, we got two little models for you. Yes. My daughter Say model. That. My daughter oh, model. Yes. 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 Oh my yes. gosh. And this her is daughter, be the so attitude. Much fun. Oh my goodness. goodness. Right. Yeah. Oh, my daughter did. Fun. Um. Philly Fashion Week. Yes, baby. we had fun. It was a couple of years ago, but she loves mm. it. Like loves this it. This girl oh, got the attitude. Yes. 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 The attitude is everything. The, the personality and everything. She is yes. not going to be afraid. Mm-hmm. So let us know. I think it'll be dope for us to link. See this. Let me. Every, my phone is black. Let me. Say. <laughs> this one. Not. Everybody that's tuning in, like y'all see this, it went in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody that's tuning tuning in. I just want to say this is dope. Like females linking, you yes. don't get this much. You don't get this much. So yeah, I hope this you know inspires inspires everybody else to work together. Yes. Whatever, just help People each other got out. Something to work yes. with. <laughs> Who got something to work with? See, no you that see don't what mean link on Instagram because y'all both got three thousand followers. Y'all got three thousand followers. That don't mean link up. That ain't don't mean shit. This is the single right here. Ooh, I just told her she gonna get the mic before me. I said, please no. The baby first. This is Liza Minnelli. I know. I know. <laughs> Let me tell you. Liza I can't play with her like that. Let me tell you. Ross showed me a clip of her singing. I can't play. She the church lady. I had to go to YouTube. The soul. I, I was in the office with you. I cried. But she said it's a church singer. I, like, I oh, said that's the one to sing I wanted to join the church choir because 
I wanted to join the Let church. Let me tell you who this is. Y'all saw Tina. They wouldn't give me the money. This little white man got kicked out of church. That's, that's this one right here. That's this that's one right that's here. If y'all not like giving me the lead, I'm not right joining the yeah, choir. That's her right there. And that lady take her out by her ear. That's this one right here. Karaoke. Y'all have to see karaoke with us. Oh, my God. Yeah, I would never play karaoke with. She asked. You don't play. Not with you. Why? You take it too serious. I can tell by your YouTube video. Y'all said you can't do that. Um, at the song house. And I we, look, we have a lot of things coming up. We have paint and sip. She hosts paint and sip. She's oh, oh what you talking she about? We got what? We got two minutes. We have paint and sips, puff and sips. I do sewing and sips. What's we puff and every sip? puff and sip you can smoke. What? And, yeah. I'm a, I'm an advocate. We is. So. We is there. Yes. So oh, we, um, we do sewing sips. You could we do. Um, I'm going to start a pillow class. Just beginning beginning sewing things for people. I think for kids first. And then women, the old adults later. But my paint sips be lit. Yeah, keep a paint sips be done. When is the next so one? So dope. I mean, I, most of the time I do in private so people call me and contact me. We but I am. I'm going to throw one every month. Yeah, I'm going to throw one every yes. month yes. once mm-hmm. we start, like once we open in March. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm ready. So every month I, I have something and then I let everybody know. The yes. song is yes. definitely a vibe, y'all. I'm it so is. glad that I met y'all. Oh, yes. Girl, Because we were, we were scared. Not me. Yeah, yeah. I was, <laughs> no, I was up in front of the See, this is what I be I was open from the beginning. Hold up. Time out. Time out. Ross, wasn't I open from the beginning? You said we got two. You said we got two girls. I said, okay, we're good. We need more girls. That's good. She was, but then, you know, she today when I said. So, Ross, am I lying? Wait, let me let me get it together. I, I, I got your back. Hold on. Okay, I'm thank the truth. you. Thank you, best friend. Because we said we're going to be honest here. Right. I never goes, hate it. Because I said, you know, we got two sisters coming on. She's talking about, who is Star and Vita? <laughs> <laughs> <And I said, laughs> so I said, what? So she like, two sisters, let me see them. But my people just talked about it. So but I never had a bad so attitude then, about it. I so said I, I was excited did. about so it. I, I was. Her, so then she go, let me see who it is. So I, so they said, okay, no, no. <laughs> 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 That's who she called. And listen, every time it's <laughs> some brown skin sisters, I, every time, let me, every time it's brown skin sisters, I relate them to Star Vita because I think, yeah, I like honestly, I love brown skin women. And every time I see two brown skin sisters the same age, I call them Star Vita. Yeah, and I was like, they're not twins. She's like, everybody I do. People say that, right? Yeah. Star Vita, like, who is the oldest? Me. Okay. But they treat me like the youngest. Keith and Ken. That's how it goes. I'm like the baby. <laughs> That's how it goes. I'm the most responsible, but to them, I'm like, same. That's same, same, same. Because you're the same, most responsible, same. that they makes you more like the mother, so that yep. means you know less than us. That's a lot. We more street savvy. We more street savvy, okay? Y'all, y'all, so y'all, we need to protect this. When I go to the bathroom in the club, I get somebody to watch her. She trying to go out and she trying to go out and not with other people. I said, no, you're not. I am. She is and the I brother, am. and sister, and mama. Yes, she I'm, the brother, sister, that's them too. mama. I'm just chill. She I'm not chill. going away tonight. Like. Them too, and yes, I'm too. No, you're not. Watch, watch me. You're not mama. going. Okay, yes, watch. You are keyboard, and I love you so much. Yeah, so, yeah this was don't dope. Mess with this was dope. And like I said, I'm glad y'all came. I think we got one minute, but anything y'all want to say, anything y'all want to plug y'all Instagram. Yeah, yes, I'm gonna get that. At Key Designs 19 for me. Honest. Oh, Let me spell it. K E I D E S I G N S number nineteen. <laughs> underscore Songhouse Couture underscore S O N G H O U S E K O U R T at Instagram and really Kenya Small at February. No, I don't. Right. Hard. Underscore Songhouse. It is a wrap. If y'all can't find them, before. go to my Instagram. Go to my followers. Cause like that's where I'm gonna go. Yes. That's where I'm going. <laughs> That's where I'm going. And, and look at our tag. Where you want to come talk real quick for a time? This, and this, how, and how, was the, uh, how was Saturday? He did my um my graduation video. I don't know if y'all saw it. He do like dope videos. This is Frank. This is our everything. Pictures. Yeah, and he's for the fifth to open to do our. All right, so dope. he's real dope. So I'm gonna close this out, y'all. So of course, uh, make sure y'all follow the team. Pretty exclusive underscore content on IG, also on um, Facebook now as well. Make sure y'all do uh, subscribe, like, and comment on YouTube as well as Spotify. Um, <laughs> other than that, y'all, make sure y'all follow these ladies, man. Definitely thank these ladies for coming through and, and make sure y'all follow them. But make sure y'all like, We're surrounded by beautiful women today. Black women, black, black businesses. Thank y'all. This is what I'm talking about.